Hey friends, welcome back to our channel, Putting Up the Pom Poms. I am Shantae, and in this video, I have my oldest daughter here, Kalia, and we are about to style her hair into a wash and go. But before we go any further, if you are new to our channel, do not forget to hit that subscribe button located right below this video. Come join the family. We would love to have you here. And to all of my returning subscribers, hey mama, hey bestie, hey friend, hope you have been having a beautiful and blessed weekend, okay? Summer is right around the corner and it is wash and go season. And we're gonna go ahead and start off a wash and go season with some new products. And I've done a braid out in the previous video. If you would love to check that out, I will have it linked right up in the top right corner for you guys to check out. So starting out, I am parting her hair from ear to ear going across the crown because I wanted to do that first half into some Bantu knots. So we're gonna be styling this back half with the wash and go hair products. Kalia has been freshly washed already. I use a tea tree oil shampoo and conditioner by Soapbox. All of our favorite hair products and accessories are linked in our Amazon storefront. If you would love to check those out and purchase them yourselves, I will have the link down below on our website and on our website you can also check more content that we have as well as our social media pages so here i am trying to my best to section off her hair because working in sections is going to be the best way to achieve a defined and beautiful wash and go the first product i am going in with is the pattern styling cream and this has a nice creamy thick texture to it and when it comes to creams they are always the best product for Kalia's thick and luxurious hair she does experience a lot of frizz because of her texture so i love to use heavy creams on her hair to kind of help with alleviating most of that frizz and bring in shine definition and moisture absolutely so i'm detangling her hair right now with a wide tube comb and this one's more like a pit comb because it has very long teeth on it so this makes sure i get through all of that hair once i have gotten most of those knots out i'm then going to go in with a detangling brush now it can be a tangle teaser this flexi brush that i'm using i've used them all and they pretty much all perform the same way so i'm making sure that i'm getting any of those small knots and i'm smoothing it out and this is also going to help with distributing that product even more once we have our hair fully defined and detangled i'm now going to go in with the pattern curl gel so this is my first time using the curl gel on Kalia's hair and I am not a hundred percent sure of how these products are going to pair with each other how they're going to work well or is she going to experience more frizz is the wash and go going to be successful first time experience with all of this so with the curl gel as you can see it has a nice slip to it so it helps with distributing that product i like to start from the ends and work my way up to the roots now i wasn't quite sure which method i was going to go in with when it came to doing this wash and go so i like to rake my fingers through that's usually my number one method sometimes you can use a bore bristle brush that helps smooth and clump the curls together and this one i'm trying like a shake and go to see how defined her curls are going to be this is all just me trying to figure out the best method so here's that first section done and one of the biggest things i realized was that my section was a little too big so for my next section i'm going to go a little bit smaller this is all trial and error as i figure out the best way to make these products work All right, so for that next section, I did go a little bit smaller and I decided to break this down into like three little sections as well, just to make sure that I was using enough product because I want to make sure this is going to last her and I want her curls to be as defined as possible. So I already applied the styling cream, I am detangling her hair, and then we're going to go ahead and add the curl gel. Going in, starting at the tips and working my way up to the roots, I decided to do an individual curl so making sure that each curl is completely defined and saturated in products this method is a little bit more tedious because i have to go in with each strand making sure it is completely defined but as you can see she has this nice elongated curl because i used a little bit more than i did on that first section i realized i was going to need more of the curl gel to give me the hole that i wanted to see and when her curls kind of lay a little bit flat like that 
over time as it dries it is going to bring back that curliness but she'll have a nice hold now i'm curious to see how this kickback is going to work once i add the blow dryer because i do diffuse after i do her wash and go i don't want her to walk around with like soaking wet hair I'm kind of a stickler with her hair being so thick and with just that amount of product and moisture sitting on her scalp. I don't want her to start experiencing any high mildew or molding on the scalp skin or in the hair. So blow drying it with a light, light warm air is the best method for her curls drying just a little bit faster and helping with that kickback because I'm using so much product to make sure it is defined as much as possible. As I'm working on a, another section of her hair, I have Kalia hold the diffuser and she has it on a warm, very cool heat. So we can go ahead and start working on getting those roots to dry just a little bit. And with drying her roots first, she's definitely going to experience bigger hair at the roots, more volume at the hair and more definition at the tips. The closer that I get to finishing her hair, the more I have to go and revert to putting a little bit more water and misting her hair. Using these products, I did notice as her hair dried out, the less acceptable her strands are to kind of taking in that hair product. So I definitely have to work on damp hair. That was one thing that I noticed. The less her hair was wet, the less her hair was to kind of absorb those products. So just misting her hair on damp, not soaking wet because we don't want her to have a very long dry time as she's diffusing her roots. Now that I'm almost done, I've pretty much have my method down to a science on how to get the definition that I want in her wash and go. So smaller section is key, damped hair, absolutely. Going in with that styling cream first, and then I finish up with the curl gel, and I'm pretty heavy handed on that curl gel. And then I define each strand as much as possible and look, at how gorgeous her definition looks. I cannot wait to see this fully dried and I'll definitely let you know how the longevity holds up for this wash and go. So far, so good. I like how her hair looks with it still wet. This lets me know whether or not that definition is going to hold or not. Now I'm gonna go in with my Shark blow dryer with my diffuser attachment on low heat. This is going to help open up those cuticles on the hair so that they can accept all that product. This is also going to help with keeping those roots nice and dry, those first, because those are usually the last thing to dry on her hair. And with the amount of hair that Kalia has, her thickness and her texture, some frizz is inevitable. There's just no way to get rid of all of it, but I want to get the maximum definition that I can. And so I think the, this curl gel is definitely going to work for her and I'm excited to see the final results. So this is what her curls are looking like after I finished diffusing. I allow her a couple of more hours. We got ready and this is what her hair likes, looks like completely dry. The definition definitely held. The hold looks great and it's not super crunchy. It looks amazing. This style lasted her four days before I had to restyle the back of her hair, but it looked great and I'm glad that those products were successful for her wash and go. Thank you guys for joining us on a, another video. We greatly appreciate having you here. To continue watching more of our hair care tutorials and videos, please click the video below. We will see y'all on another one. Be blessed and be safe.